Good morning, everybody. Kirk Yonke here in the Fox 31 Denver studios. It is Wednesday, and it's great to have you with us here on the YouTube. Hope you're doing well. A lot going on today. Oh, gosh, it's a busy morning. So uh, first and foremost, we've got breaking news out of France where a uh, gunman opened fire at a French satirical newspaper. And uh, we know at this point 11, possibly 12 people have been killed, some police officers injured in that. Uh, this is a newspaper that has been very controversial, uh, dif typically does very satirical editorial cartoons, and has been the, uh, the focus of threats and violence in the past as well. So we'll have the updates on that as they come in. We're getting... Uh, tweets from the president of France and a new information of course from the news teams out there in France that are following it and we'll keep you posted. Back here at home in Colorado the issue this morning is not going to be snow. There, there are no flakes really flying outside but there is some heavy fog and there is some ice glazing over the roads. You may not even notice it. It may look like the roads are wet, but you've got to be careful out there because it is icy. Jen's telling us that there may be some freezing drizzle falling in spots that could uh, make the problem even worse. Of course, we have a lot of uh, residual moisture on the roads just from the snow over the past couple of days, especially in the neighborhood, so that could freeze. So we will have that for you, and, and that, that is uh, something that... Um, a lot of people are going to have to deal with this morning. Uh, on top of that, uh, we're following some uh, national headlines. Chris Christie facing some big criticism now. You saw him at the Cowboys game, hugging Jerry Jones, high-fiving everybody up there in the box. Well, now some are saying that he shouldn't even be there in the first place, that he's breaking the law by being there in the first place. Did Chris Christie go too far with his Cowboys fandom? We will break it down for you. Oh, and uh, carbs are good. <laughs> Says a new study at Harvard because they're really smart there, and they studied it. And they're saying that, uh, you know, despite all this stuff about uh, gluten-free, avoid all that stuff, and, and avoid carbs because it's unhealthy, they're saying that that might not be the case for everybody. Obviously, there are some situations where that makes sense. We'll break down exactly what they're saying, what this study says, what it could mean for your diet. We hope to see you. A whole bunch going on. And uh, it is Wednesday, and we're on TV on Fox 31 Denver. Good day, Colorado, from 5 to 9. Happy Wednesday. I'm Kirk Yonke.